Hello, Patricia and family. This is Tyler. I wanted to take a moment and record this video for you today since I won't be able to be with you in person this morning. The coronavirus has made life quite difficult for people across the globe. But I can't imagine what you must be going through in processing the loss of Luther Dale Green. For that to happen at this time is what is called compound grief or compounded grief. For you to be mourning the loss of Dale and also dealing with what's going on with the coronavirus, my prayer is that God is drawing you close, Patricia, and also your entire family, that he is taking you under his wing and loving you at this time. I wanted to share just a few words of encouragement today. In part, what I was planning to share at a service for Dale. There are a couple of passages that I want to just read to you and share with you some thoughts about how God indeed is holding you in his hands. And the best thing that can be done at this time is to rest in his embrace, even though it is very difficult for what you're going through. So the first passage I want to share with you is in Job, and it's in Job chapter 12. You may know the story of Job, that Job is going through a lot of difficulty himself. And here he shares that the Lord himself holds the world in his hands, despite the difficult things that go on. Patricia, you shared with me that Dale loved the ocean. And I wanted to share in these passages how God is the creator of the world, the creator of the oceans, that he is the sustainer of the world, the sustainer of the oceans, that even now he holds these things in his hand. And more importantly, he holds each of us in his hand, that if we can rest in him, he can give us the victory through Jesus, even though life has immense difficulty. This first passage is Job chapter 12, verse 8 through 10. It says, Ask the bushes of the earth, and they will teach you, and the fish of the sea will declare to you. Who among all these does not know that the hand of the Lord has done this? In his hand is the life of every living thing and the breath of all mankind. What Job is saying here is that God holds all of these things in his hand. The life of every living creature, the breath of all mankind, is held by God. We can take some comfort in this in knowing that God holds Dale in his hands. Over in Mark, the disciples are out with Jesus. And in Mark chapter 4, Jesus calms the storm. It's a story that is familiar to many. But they're out on a, on a huge lake that, that actually resembles an ocean. And here, the disciples are out with Jesus. And at the end of chapter Mark, uh, 4 of Mark, in verse 36, it says, On that day when evening had come, he said to them, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was. And other boats were with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves were breaking into the boat, so that the boat was already filling. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? And he awoke and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. He said to them, Why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great fear and said to one another, Who then is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? There are a couple of things that I love about this passage, and in particular that I wanted to communicate you to, to you today. The first is, there was a tendency to ask Jesus, why don't you care what we're going through? And Jesus responded that he not only does he care, but that he's able to hold the wind and the waves in his hands. And that we are to have faith that he's able to do that. So two things. One, Jesus cares what you are going through. And two, 
He's the one that holds the wind and the waves in his hands. Even the wind and the waves obey him. The last passage that I want to share with you is in 1 Corinthians verse 15, uh, chapter 15. 1 Corinthians 15, uh, towards the end of the chapter in verse 55, says this, Death is swallowed up in victory. That's the end of verse 54. O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. The reason I wanted to end this video with this passage is that we know that death is difficult. We know that death is painful. We know that we grieve the loss of Dale. And yet, the Lord says that death is swallowed up in his victory. That in Jesus Christ, that we are able to overcome even death in this life. I want to encourage you with these words that Jesus is still holding Dale in his hands. And that Jesus is holding all of you as well. That the victory truly is in Christ. That the one who made the oceans that Dale loved so much still holds Dale in his hands and he holds you as well. So my encouragement to you today would be to reach out to God. Let him hold you in his hands. Let him hold your whole family together as one during this time. May you rest in his grace and his peace. May you rest in his love. Would you rest in his victory as Jesus is able to overcome even this? I'll be praying for you and I look forward to the time that we'll be able to spend together in the future. Thanks again, Patricia.